Hello and welcome. In this video, we will do a short review of a new feature in Dynamics 365 version 32 that is called Billing Schedules with Projects. Subscription billing existed in the system for a while now. This subject is well covered in a variety of different posts on the internet, including this YouTube channel. But now, this feature allows us to create invoices in the project using subscription billing schedules. As always, first thing we'll need to make sure that the billing schedules with projects feature is activated. Next, we'll navigate and open a list of all the projects. Now I will create a new time and material project. Click on new, time and material, select the contract, and click on create project. Please note that the fixed price projects will not work for this purpose. The system will not allow us to generate any project invoices for the projects of this type. Hence, we will only be able to use time and material projects. Then we need to understand the project stage. Right now it is created. Will we be allowed to create a billing schedule for the project with this stage? In order to answer that, we need to go to the project management parameters. Once here, we'll navigate to project stage, select stage created and click on project stage rules. We see that time and material projects in that stage would allow us to create billing schedules. Let's go back to our project. But we also would want to generate an invoice. And in order for us to generate and post a project invoice, we need to be in in process stage. So let's change the stage to in process. Next, we'll navigate to manage tab, go to related information, click on that new menu called subscription billing and click on billing schedules. Because this is a brand new project we just created, there are no billing schedules associated with it. What we will do next is we will generate a brand new billing schedule. Click on new right here, select the customer account. This customer account is associated with the project contract for my project. I will select the project ID 914. That's the one that was just created. And let me start my schedule from 1st of January 2023 and run it for 12 months. Click on OK. I generated a brand new billing schedule and next I'll just need to create a line. Click on add line and the lines that I can add here would be any items that are either item or service but with stock checkbox cleared. So those should be non-stocked products. Here's a list of those and I will use the software. You see that the total sales price is $200. Let's maybe change it to $1,200. Change the pricing method to flat and the unit price $1,200. Now we are set to generate our first invoice. The invoice is not generated from the project invoice proposal. That's the way for us to usually generate project invoice for the time and material projects. But we will not be able to do so. In order for us to generate a project invoice that is based on the billing schedule, we have to do it from the billing schedule itself. So this is our billing schedule number 61 and I'm gonna click on generate invoice right here in the top left corner. Next, I need to define from and to dates. Remember, my billing schedule starts on 1st of January and ends on December 31st. You will see here, if I try to generate my invoices into the future, for example, select the date that is three months from now and click on view billing schedules. You will see this message that says invoices generated include billing schedules that are linked to the projects. Any billing detail line with a start date later than current date will not generate an invoice. Systems telling us that you can generate project invoices for any billing lines that are today or before. Hence, even though we set this end date to be 510, we only see two lines that are proposed for invoicing. Those are the lines for the January and the month of February. We do not see the lines for March, April, and May. So this is a difference compared to billing schedules that are not connected to the project. For those billing schedules, we would be able to generate invoices well into the future, well past current date. All right, now let's go back. What I'm gonna do, I would want to generate my invoice only for the month of January. So I'm gonna stick with January 10. And the last option that I would like to review with you before actually generating invoices is the posting option. If we select post invoice automatically, this will automatically generate project invoice proposal and will automatically post it. So this way I will not be interacting with anything in the project invoice proposal form. 
it will be generated and posted automatically. If I select create sales order option right here on the top, all it's gonna do is gonna generate a sales order, which I can then invoice via the project invoice proposal. So I have to create that invoice proposal first, select that sales order transaction, and then invoice it. And a third option that I can use right here, the show posting invoice or create invoice proposal page. What it will do, it will generate an invoice proposal for these billing lines, but it will not post it. So I can then review it, modify it as needed, and then process by posting it. So this is an option that I will select. So let's click on view billing schedules. We should see one line for month of January. The amount should be $1,200. And now click on generate all. We will see a message on the top saying that invoice proposal number 2A2 has been created. So now let's take a look at it. We're still in the billing schedule, but here we see a reference to the project. Remember, this billing schedule was created from the project, hence it automatically got that reference. So I can go to that project by click on view details. And in here, I'll navigate to Manage tab and then click on Project Invoice Proposals. Here I see my Invoice Proposal 2A2. The status is open. I will click on the invoice number. I will see the Invoice Proposal Transaction Summary. So here's my $1,200. I will also see the Sales Order transaction that is included. So the Sales Order 2513 that was automatically generated. It is included in this proposal. With this information at hand, I can review any other details, maybe change the payment method, payment terms, etc. And once I'm ready, I will click on post. Post invoice proposal form shows up. Make sure the posting checkbox is checked and click on OK. Click on OK. Now, when we go back to our project proposals, we see that the status has changed from open to invoiced. And let's go back to our project itself. Click on posted transactions. And here's the transaction that was generated. The project category came from the release product that we have selected on our billing schedule. We see the status of that line is fully invoiced. We can also look at the voucher. So everything from this point on is standard functionality that we have seen before. We can also go back to the manage form, click on subscription billing, and look at the existing billing schedules that are associated with this project. Here's the one that we just processed. Keep in mind that we can create multiple billing schedules for the same project. Well, that's a short summary of the billing schedules with projects feature that became available in version 10.0.32. I hope you found it useful. Until the next time.